welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a tutorial for editing an email signature template on Canva. You can grab these templates using the link below this video for free. If you are new here, my name is Molly Malloy and you can find me at LessonsWithLaughter.com or over on Instagram at LessonsWithLaughter. All right, let's get started. So when you get the link for these templates by signing up below, I'll send you the link and then you will go to this screen. Um, at this screen, you're gonna click on use template. If you already have a Canva account, you can log in. If you don't have a Canva account yet, you can create one for free. And if you are a teacher, you can actually get a Canva for Education account, which is free for educators. And it also gives you access to a lot of the pro features. So if you are a teacher, definitely take advantage of that. You just need a school um, or district email address and they'll go through the process of verifying you. Uh, all right, so once you click on use template, you will get access to these. I have four different templates just with different fonts and different setups, but I love Canva so much because you can literally customize everything on these templates and um, you can even add different graphics and things like that. So I'll show you how to do it all. Um, so starting with your name, when you double click on the text box, you can just type in what name you would like. If you want to change the font, Canva has tons and tons and tons of different fonts that you can use. Uh, you can also click on this little A over here to change the color. Oops, let's try that again <laughs> to change the color of your uh, text. Uh, then down here, same thing, you can change the font, you can change the color, um, insert in your information. I'm a fifth grade teacher, so mine says fifth grade teacher, but obviously you could enter in whatever job you do. If you need to move the boxes around, like this one's kind of close to that, it's just super easy to click and drag the boxes. Uh, over here, this is a frame for a picture. Uh, to do that, super simple, you're just gonna drag a picture from your photos into Canva. When you do that, it will um, also add the picture over here to uploads. Um, I already have pictures that I've <laughs> dragged into Canva, so here's the one that I'm gonna use, and I'm just gonna drag it from the side over into this frame. And then the other thing that you can do once you drag your picture over is if you double click on your picture, you can move the picture around so that the part you want is, on, is in the circle. You also can click and drag on the edges to, if you wanna zoom in a little bit on the image, I'm gonna click off and that looks good. So I'm gonna keep it like that. And there you go, that's just a super simple email signature. Now, if you want to add any different elements to it, Canva also has access to a lot of elements um, over on this element tab, so you can search for anything. And so let's say you wanna add some little sparkle details. Um, you can click on this one, let's see, it's over here. I'm gonna move that out of the way. I'm gonna drag the sparkles over here. Yeah, I want them to be kind of in this corner. You also, you can see over here right now that they're yellow. If you want them to be a different color, you can just kind of click um, over here, make them whatever color you want. Let's, I'm gonna keep them yellow. So I've got some over in the corner over here. I can copy and paste it, or you also can click on this um, duplicate button. If I want to drag some over there. So there you go, <laughs> you can add different things. I mean, they literally have pictures of everything. If you want <laughs> generic like Apple, you can see all the Apple graphics. Maybe you want um, pencil. You can see tons of different options that you can add to your email signature. I've already got a lot going on, but <laughs> I'm just gonna show you kind of, here's a pencil. And let's say I want to make this bigger to like go under my name. You can do something like that. It's kind of a lot for what I have going on, so I'm gonna delete that. But um, 
just the possibilities are endless with Canva, um, which is one of the reasons that I love creating things in Canva so much. Um, okay, so once you have your signature done, you're going to come up to the share button and then you're going to click on download. Uh, it's already set to PNG, which is what we want. Over here, though, you can see it's going to download all four pages and I only use the first template, so I only want it to download that page. So I'm gonna uncheck where it says all pages, and then I'm gonna check where it says current page, and you'll see it just selects page one automatically, and then click done, and then I'm going to click on download, and it's going to download my file. Um, once you have that PNG, you're going to go to what e whatever, um, email provider you use and you'll upload this PNG to be added for your email signature. Now it depends, the instructions for how to do that depend on your specific email provider. So I use Outlook and so all I did is I just did a Google search for how to upload email signature to Outlook and I got step-by-step -step instructions. So if you use a different email provider, uh, you can just do a quick Google search and figure out how to add a uh, email signature for your specific email provider. So anyway, I hope that this tutorial was helpful and that you enjoy using these free email signature templates. Uh, once again, the link to these is below. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you use these, email signature templates. I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Thanks so much and I hope you have a great rest of your day.